Hey, Goo Leaders, this is Jessica Worley, and today we are creating a video about a Google Form add-on called Form Approvals. So this video comes from the request of Faye and Yogi, and they wanted to know how to create a multi-level approval process using the add-on Form Approval. So I heard you, and I'm so excited to get started and show you how to do this. Let's do it. All right, so the first step we're gonna do is head on over to Google Drive, and we're gonna create a form by clicking on New, More, and Forms. In this project, we're going to be creating a form that needs to be approved by two different managers. So it's going to be recommended and then approved by the final project manager. And in the end, the form is going to be sent back to the original person who filled out the form to let them know that this project has been approved. So to get started, we're going to create a demo form for an awesome project ideas we're going to have people fill out a description and a title. And here's the really important part. So we want to collect the user's email address. So we're going to click on the gear and select collect email addresses. So that way the email with the final OK can go back to the original person. So now that we have the form set up and it has all the questions and it has the email address, now we want to add the add on. So to do that, we're going to click on these three little dots up at the top corner. And then we're going to click on add on. And then we're going to type in form approvals. Here's the app right here. We're going to click on free. We're going to select my account. And then we're going to give it permission because it needs to do all of these things. So scroll on down to allow. And now it is being added to our Google Forms. The next step is to go ahead and start configuring it. We're going to click on add on form approvals and then the little gear will pop up. Okay. Configure workflow. So from this tab, we are going to actually configure the settings for the person who's going to recommend and the person who's going to approve. So we're going to click on this one. I'm going to type in the person that is going to recommend first. Then once I have their email address, I'm going to click on these three little dots right here and click other recipient settings. And then I want to tell them that this person is actually going to recommend. You can see all the settings and the roles right here it kind of gives you description, but I know this is recommend. And then I'm going to put a little message here to remind the person that they're in charge of recommending. So that way, whenever they get this email, they kind of remember what they're supposed to do and the process of this form. So now I'm going to add the person that is in charge for approving this assignment and add in the email address. And then same as before, I'm going to click on the three little dots and I'm going to edit the settings to allow them to approve. I'm also going to put another little message so that way they know the process. The next step is going to click on settings and we're going to click on two things, enable one click response link and notify recipients when complete. So that means whenever this is all done, the email was going to go to the person at the very end to let them know, Hey, your project has been approved. And the other one allows one click responses. So that way the people in, uh, can respond to the actual email to, to click allow. So the process can move faster. And it's a lot easier on people. All right, so now we are ready to test this out. Are you ready to test it? Let's try it out. Okay, so the first step is gonna be filling out the form. And so now that we filled out the form, we got to jump over to our email account to see if it's there. Yep, there it is. Okay, and so when we click on it, you can see that text that we typed in. And now you can also see this awesome little easy recommendation button. So when we click on that, it actually approves the project and sends the email to the person that is going to approve it. But it also lets you see the status of the project. And you see that this project has been recommended and now the email is going to the next step. So now I got to jump over to my other email up oh, and here is the form. And here is the project. It gives that text again. And let me go ahead and approve this project. 
And it takes me back to the form approvals website and let me see that that, that process is complete. There's all the information. All right, so let's go check and see. Yes, I got the email. So this is the person that is receiving the email to say, yes, your project is approved, go. So here it is, awesome project idea. Your rest request has been approved. And so uh, see how fast it was? Wasn't that really fast? So yay, so we have completed this project. It all worked great. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have a G Suite or Google tool that you would like me to do a tutorial on, or have a question, please send me a message and let me know. That's how these videos get created. Um, also remember that I have a free course on Google Forms and I just might have a beta course out there looking for some beta testers. Check it out. Again, thank you for joining me, Goo Leaders.